What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just found a penny stock that is like kind of blowing my mind on everything that it has going for them that is incredibly bullish. Little disclaimer is I currently do not own any shares of the company. You know, I found them very recently, but I do plan on buying shares this Monday when the market opens. I see a ton of long-term upside potential, probably going to be a one to two year hold, maybe even longer. And the upside is just, it's blowing my mind, honestly. So, you know, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I say is not financial advice, but be smart with your money. Only put what you're willing to lose. You know, everything could go down. I don't want anybody to lose any money that they don't, that they can't afford to lose. But if you do enjoy this type of content, all I ask is you subscribe to the channel and you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And go ahead and check out my Discord server. You know, it's 100% free. Go get some free stocks on Weeble. Links are all in the description down below. But let's go ahead and kind of get straight talking about this penny stock. So the ticker for this is VLCN, Volcon Incorporation. And technically, in the technical stance, you know, nothing really important going on. You know, I guess you could call it a funny looking cup and handle. Maybe they will form a real cup and handle coming pretty soon. But we did have a ton of buying pressure come in. And the main reason for this is this company signed a huge, kind of some pretty non-binding deals. Remember, non-binding means that these people can back out. But who is this company, you know? What this, what Volcon does is they manufacture and sell electric off-road power sport vehicles in the U.S. and Latin America. They provide two- and four-wheeled mo motorcycles, utility terrain vehicles through its dealers. They have a ton of different things going for them, okay? This is their stag uh, pretty much their main vehicle, you know, it's kind of like Tesla's main vehicle. Then they have the Grunt, which is like an EV bike, you know, 75 miles of range. They also have the Runt, which is 35 miles of range. And it's pretty interesting, you know. They are building these and it's for adventure, you know, maybe you want to just be a, you want a mountain bike, whatever it is, take your vehicle out into the forest, whatever you want to do, you know. Very expert like very creative, okay? But then also for work, you know, for farmers, for people who need these types of things for their farm, for the vehicles, which is opening up incredible demand. Now, to show you some key things about what this company reported in their most recent statement in Q, Q1 of 2022, through then, they had signed with 83 dealers already, okay? Partners in Mexico opening the first flagship Vulcan dealership, we expect to launch both of these products, you know, their Runt the, and the uh, e-bike, the Brat, the Runt and the Grunt, sorry about that. We expect to launch both of these products in the fourth quarter of 2022, which is going to be a big catalyst if it goes well in Q4 of 2022. Net loss, I mean, it's making slower net, lower net losses recently. This company has a market cap of $40 million. And for the three months ended, just look at the adjusted EBITDA. That this company is experiencing you know net loss is decreasing and it is still not positive but you know it's a very common thing especially with these newer companies so let me go ahead and show you what what is very like, kind of caught my eye on this company vulcan receives thousands of pre-orders for its stag in first 14 days over 70 million dollars of potential revenue keyword potential remember this is not a guarantee so on june 27th it kind of opened up uh pre-orders for the stag remember i showed you the vehicle it's going to be their main vehicle right here I'll show you it on their website real quick just so you can get a good look at it. You know, it's kind of like a starts at $39,000. This is it, you know, high quality stuff. Almost like an electric, very high quality, like off-road golf cart type of thing. But the company has received thousands of non-binding pre-production orders, which if ultimately finalized, would result in more than $70 million worth of revenue for the company following delivery. Quick reminder, this company is only worth $40 million right now, okay? Scroll down a little bit more. The company will continue to accept orders for 2023 model year production from dealers until sold out, at which point Vulcan will accept waitlist orders. So, massive, okay? And then we made a conservative estimate concerning sales, volumes, having worked closely with our sales and marketing team to identify sales targets for 2023. So this is kind of... Expecting maybe $70 million of revenue in 2023 alone, if all goes to plan. They said they were also being on the conservative side, and analysts' current estimate before having all these numbers come into play was $15 million of expected revenue. For 2022, expected is about $4 million. 
it's a huge upside, okay? The list goes on and on of why I'm bullish, and I'll show you some more things, you know. The future has arrived. We believe that electric and recreational vehicles are setting the new standard for outdoor work and adventure. You know, a ton of different things going with this company. I'll show you kind of their product roadmap. Ton of different catalysts coming very soon. So they're definitely working very, very solid. High quality team behind this. Now, showing you another thing that kind of stood out to me was a lot of these EV startups, you know, a lot of these just startups in general, $40 million penny stocks have short interest of above 10%, you know, not very rare to see them above 20%. This is only 3.7%, okay? Every single like indication that I usually look for in a stock, this is kind of pointing very bullish. I mean, total debt is about 2.36 million, sitting on cash of about 14 million, shares outstanding is about 24.3 million, with a float of 17 million. A good amount of this is held by insiders, and a good amount is held by institutions. So, show you some more stuff on their financials just to give you a little bit more of a broad overspect. 75,000 in Q3 of 2021 to 373,000 of total revenue in Q4 2021 to 1.1 million. And it seems to just be slowly increasing and slowly increasing and getting better and better. Okay. Another thing that stood out to me was ins insiders are not selling. If anything, they're buying. Selling can be a number of different things. You know, it's not necessarily a terrible thing. For a company's insiders to be selling, but for buyers to be buying, insiders to be buying, that's 100% bullish. So COO and CTO, CTO, May 16th, and I'll show you that these are 2020, 2022, but buying a good amount. Okay, purchasing at share prices a little bit lower than we're currently sitting at, but they've been buying for the past year. Okay, purchase price at 914. Now, like this was a lot more of expensive of a stock. You know, it has fallen, especially with just macro events happening. But to show you the analyst activity, okay, to show that I'm not the only one who thinks that this is a really good company. Vulcan has was analyzed by seven analysts. The buy percentage is about 83%. Uh, low price targets of $6.06 to a mean of six twelve and a high of six thirty. You know, roughly about 260, 270% upside, which is very, very good. Okay, we got one hold rating, four buys, and two strong buys. Really good stuff. Not only that, institutional activity, you know the big buyers. Total of six institutional buyers have been reported recently. Uh, 751,000, pretty much 752,000 in inflow. Zero sellers, and you might think this is a very small number compared to a lot of other Wall Street companies, but, I mean, this is a $40 million company, you know? It's not like the, they can go buy millions of millions of dollars worth of a $40 million company. And some key names would be like Vanguard, uh, Virtue Financial Holding, State Street, Rentech, you know, one of, if not the best performing hedge fund over the past like decades, okay? They're buying shares. So this is definitely some bullish information. And a, a final little touch is just like bloggers' opinions and sentiment has been 100% bullish. So this is one that I'm going to definitely add in my portfolio. I see long-term potential. And if I am wrong... I am wrong. You know, I can take that. I'm only going to put money that I'm willing to lose. So keep that in mind. Do not put all your eggs in one basket, even however good it might look. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. So all I ask if you did enjoy this content and if you enjoy this type and you want to get more future videos about good stocks to buy, in my personal opinion, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thank you again. Check out my Discord server. Go get, some self, go get yourself some free stocks on Weeble using links in the description down below. And I will see you at the next video.